we are still discussing who is the greatest ever PBA import. Now our esteemed panel has listed down four candidates. So we have Bobby Ray Park Sr., we have Sean Chambers, Norman Black, and Justin Brownlee. Now I'll turn first to Ali Peek, who mentioned a player who is still playing today. Now it's tough to say that he is the greatest simply because he, he's not done yet. But yes. you're confident to put him in this list already. Could you explain why? And gentlemen, feel free to butt in whenever you want. Oh, let's put it this way. His, his career average here in the Philippines is 30.8 points per game, 12.3 rebounds per game. Um, he's a three-time PBA champ, all right? Back-to-back -back on top of that. And then he went to another league and won a championship, came back to the PBA, won another championship, I believe, Excuse me, no, he won, he won a championship in the ABL after the PBA, but still, the guy is a winner. Everywhere he's gone, he's won championships. And I'm also going to add another thing. You know, you, you talk about all those stats, right, averaging 45. How many points did, did Bobby Parks average? What? 9,000. Average. 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 Oh, in one season, he averaged 52.6 50. points. No way, no way in hell are any of those guys going to do that in this day and age. It's not gonna happen. No way. Because they're not good enough. Because they're not good enough? No. No, uh, tell no, me the no I'm why. saying because of the be, because <laughs> we're talking we're talking forty we're talking forty years later, okay? The way the game is played nowadays, you got guys that are bigger, stronger, you don't have six foot two, six foot three centers back at, like back in their time. The players are much more athletic and much more skilled, they take better care of their bodies. No way in hell those guys are going to average 50-something points, 40-something rebounds Ali, all right. in, this, in so this day and age. Absolutely not. You have the record in the PBA for most ever field goals without a miss. Yeah. Are you saying that no way that you're going to do that in, in today's game? Look, that's, that's back in that time, mm -hmm. all right? Would I be able to play in this day and age? Probably not. I don't know. I mean, wow. the guys are a little bit really? taller. Yeah, probably, wow. yeah. Mm. Hey. The prerequisite for a big guy nowadays is they got to be able to put the ball on the floor. I didn't put the ball on the floor. They got to be able to shoot three-point shots. I had no three-point shots. But you're super strong, though. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter. You're just going to put game, the, game, the game is much different now than it was well, back think, then. Well, I mean, right. One way for players, great players, to adjust is they adjust to the game also. Like okay. Bobby Ray and uh, even Coach Norman. If they played today, they would have adjusted to the style of uh, play today. And because they were... You know, uh, great players. I, I think they, they wouldn't. Have, they wouldn't have known what to do. They would have not known exactly. what to do with 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 Justin Brownlee out way out there oh, in the wing like but that. The thing, no we way. We will never find out. Yeah. Yes. They, yes. Yes. All right. So it's just up there. Yeah. But given that, so uh, you were talking about how these guys are probably. We don't know whether or not statistically it will be the same this day and age. But then, you know, when you look at the entire body of work so far, you mentioned the uh, seven best import awards that uh, Ray Parks won, and eventually it was named after yes. him. Mm -hmm. Now that it's, it's all there, do you think that that accolade alone, having the trophy named after him, automatically just puts him way ahead of everyone else? Because yeah. he was a pioneer of all of these guys, in a sense. It just ends the argument. You know, and, uh, <laughs> plus, you know, I think uh, the way the game was played before, uh, it was, there was a time that there was a no blood, no foul rule, no harm, no foul mm -hmm. rule. It was really very physical. You had, I mean, you had to go three, uh, through three, four guys and really bang you up inside the paint. And then he still managed to score or average 52 points in 23 games with a high of 72 points. And that talks about his versatility, his creativity. He's not just a player that can shoot threes, you know, just shoot a lot of threes. He operates inside. He runs the floor very well. He can defend. And also, what I think one characteristic of a really good import is that he was coachable. Mm -hmm. And I think that really is the icing on the cake. <laughs> All right, uh, Ali, one you, quick you're, point. You're going against your import right now, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You know what? I wish I'm just, yeah. I wish just Justin out there. would out break there. the record of Sean Chambers in winning. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. So we just had counting. to put that down. We're still counting. Why are you attacking me? No, I'm not attacking you. But, all right, so now we go to these two gentlemen right beside me, Coach Ryan and, and Carlo. Both of you have uh, different arguments because your guy mm -hmm. has... A lot of rings. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, coach, your guy doesn't. And you feel that his impact 
goes beyond that one ring that he won. That's uh, really true. I mean, you talk about Norman Black. He is an epitome of how an import is supposed to play every single game and also how one should conduct himself inside or even outside the basketball court. Remember, this guy is a consummate gentleman, and that is why he's still coaching up to now. He has 11 rings across his name as far as coaching is concerned. Coached uh, the San Miguel Beerman uh, to a Grand Slam finish. So even the great Tim Cohen once said, and this is probably something that uh, Coach uh, Richard will be very happy. There are just two players who are probably on a different uh, level, and that's Bobby and that is Norman, because these players are what you call workhorses. You talk about another two guys, probably Tony Harris and even Billy Ray Bates, but these are your exciting players, just super athletes. And probably the fifth one is uh, Sean Chambers, mm -hmm. in terms of uh, pecking order, and uh, Brownlee will be in the top 10. Mm -hmm. But uh, definitely not, probably not at this point. He never fans might uh, not uh, agree to uh, my point right now, but what, what I'm saying right now is, we have to look at the numbers that they've done. Norman scored 76 points one time, also averaged 51 points per game in 14 games. So he is definitely going to be one or two, at least, yeah. in our I agree. When I was, uh, when I was uh, thinking about this, I was debating between Coach Norman and uh, Bobby Parks. I, and I guess just because we're the discussion's greatest import ever to play the game, I went with Bobby Parks. But overall impact in mm -hmm. Philippine basketball, I would it's, go with it's Norman. Norman. That's cheating. That's yeah, but they're talking about import. Talking. Yeah. 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 We're, we're, yeah. Let me just say this. Mm -hmm. I won't pick a fight with choosing Norman Black or choosing uh, Bobby Ray Parks. But with, when it comes to Justin Brownlee, three championships, definitely impressive. And counting. And counting, Hopefully. of course. But we're not done yet. Mm -hmm. And but Norman his, can stop it. His, his claim, his claim, <laughs> I <wow>. know. <laughs> his, his claim to fame is that he is the resident import of Barangay Ginebra, that they don't need a Commissioner's Cup import that's taller. Let me finish, Ali. They, they don't need a Commissioner's Cup import who is taller because of just how good he is. You know who did that back in the day? Sean Chambers. Everything that Justin Brownlee now is doing now Sean Chambers did in some level, in some capacity in the past, because you have to list that he won the 1996 Commissioner's Cup Championship with Alaska when the league allowed an import as tall as 6'7". Sean Chambers, on a good day, was 6'2", and he won that championship for them. 